everyone. It is Friday. We are excited to be here with what's for dinner at Doodash Farms. What is this? I guess foodie Friday. So here we are. Um, Brian and I are excited to um, bring some, uh, I, we've already given you a teaser, right? We're going to have meatloaf tonight. So um, I, I, maybe you saw our um, pre-game show there, the preparation. We've had it in the oven now for about an hour, and so we'll pull that out and let you guys see what it looks like. So, hey, Clint Biggs, I see that you're watching, and Denise is watching. Hey, Denise, glad you guys could be here with us for What's for Dinner at Doodash Farms. So, yeah, tonight we're making just some simple uh, comfort food, but we're making meatloaf. Who in the South does not like meatloaf? Um, and our meatloaf, we are preparing with, uh, hey, hey, Tom. He's saying hi, Brian, too. So, Brian, get your butt over here and say hello to Tom. And Tom, we want to know, are you guys doing okay? <laughs> are you guys doing okay with uh, Hurricane Laura? And, we, you know, let us know in the comments how you guys are doing. We've been thinking about you, and we hope everything is good. Um, Susan Clippinger says meatloaf, yummy, yes. So, Susan and everyone else, our meatloaf tonight, we are making it with our ground beef and uh, ground pork. So, um, and we, we don't put a lot of stuff um, in it that you're probably used to hearing is in, um, in meatloaf. Susan said, Susan Clippinger says, hi Brian and Kim, hope you two are safe from the storm. We are, Susan, we're doing great. As a matter of fact, where we are, there's not a lot of rain or anything at this point. Um, pardon me? Just humidity. Just humidity. Oh, let me tell you, humidity in East Tennessee. Whew, we got it going on today. So, we are making a meatloaf tonight with our ground beef and ground pork. And just to let you know what ingredients are in it, we shared a beautiful picture of what it looked like before um, we put it in the oven. Our ground beef, our ground pork, um, we've put some Italian uh, seasoned breadcrumbs in it. We've also added some fresh bell pepper uh, from the garden, and we've put some, of course, garlic and salt and pepper. That's basically all we have in our meatloaf. A lot of people will add eggs to their um, meatloaf, if, especially if they just use ground beef, but because we use our ground pork, it seems to really bind it all together, and uh, we don't necessarily need eggs, so we don't have any in there. We've got some comments, so let me just go through here and see what we got. Um, Tom says, we did fine. Laura was really nothing here. That's good. We're happy to know that, Tom, because we were really thinking about you guys and hoping that you are weathering um, this storm in the Virgin Islands. Can y'all believe they watch from the Virgin Islands? Um, but we're so glad that you're doing well. Uh, Gen Jessica Hall says, hi, friends. Hi, Jessica Hall. We miss you. We can't wait to catch up with you soon. Um, Susan says, Susan Clippinger says, yes, we have that too. So she's talking about the humidity in Florida. I can only imagine. I'm, I'm like, uh, you know, I'm complaining about the humidity in Tennessee, but whew, we know how it is in Florida. Laura Jackson says, hey, classmate, it's been over 30 plus years. Tell Brian I said hello and you as well. So there you go. Thank you, Laura. He heard that. Uh, Scott Hurst, I'm waiting for a table at Olive Garden, working hay all week, too tired to cook. We can relate to that, Scott. We can totally relate. I hope that you get all your hay cut, um, and I hope you enjoy your dinner at Olive Garden. That sounds amazing. So back to what's for dinner at Doodash Farms. We are having a uh, meatloaf and we're making it with our ground beef and ground pork. We've added some salt, pepper, and garlic. We've added some bell pepper from our garden. We um, also have some Italian breadcrumbs in there. And of course, you can't have meatloaf with a little bit of ketchup on top, right? So I know, I know, we try really, really hard to use healthy ingredients Ketchup is not necessarily one of them, but we've just used a little bit. 
So we've got a little bit of ketchup on top. Um, and with our meatloaf, we're gonna have some, um, some, Potatoes. I know, but what are we doing with them? Steaming. We are steaming. <laughs> Y'all, it's been a long day. We're steaming some potatoes and we have some fresh green beans that we can from our garden. So that's our complete meal. Meatloaf, steamed potatoes, and green beans. Um, mom Dudash is watching. Hello, Mom. Say hi to Mom. Gotta say hi to Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> and then Christy Thulin is watching. Hey, Christy. Beth Perkheiser. She says, we are having mushroom gravy, gravy cube steak from Dudash Farms tonight. Yay, Beth. Tell Jay hello for us. We are glad to see you guys here. So with our meatloaf, we have baked it in the oven for... Uh, an hour at 350 okay so this one takes a little bit of time but again this is like comfort food and we kind of hesitated about your mom says hi kids we kind of hesitated about whether to do meatloaf because we thought you guys might think that's pretty boring but seriously in the south who does not like meatloaf and it's such a comfort food so hey Leslie Sands it's good to see you and it was good to see you this morning um, all right, so home cooking, comfort meal, meatloaf, potatoes, green beans, um, baking at 350 for an hour. And you know, you don't have to use ground beef and ground pork. A lot of people just use ground beef. And then we actually have some customers who like to mix the ground beef with, um, with our sausage. Um, so you can do it with ground sausage. And so that's our mild sausage, I guess, mostly, yeah. isn't it, Brian? So our mild sausage and sometimes even Italian sausage. So you can really make this your own recipe, right? Um, so we've got a few people watching here. And last week we did a trivia question. And that was a huge success. And we're going to have Except another, well, yeah, I was going to say it was a huge success with the exception of me trying to um, pronounce the different stomachs of a cow. <laughs> that was hilarious. So we're not going to go there. But uh, Roberta Knight was our winner of our um, trivia question. And she won a pound of ground beef. And she came by the market on Saturday morning and picked that up. And we were super happy to see Roberta. So we thought that was so good. Hello, Aunt Letha. She's watching. Say hi to Aunt Letha. Hey, Letha. <laughs> we're glad you're here. Are so you moving? Yeah, I know. Are you moving? You're going to have to let us know in the comments how all that's going. Ann Mitchell is watching. Hi, Ann. Um, and I owe you an email. I did get your email. Um, so I will send you that recipe. Um, Ann had asked us for a recipe from uh, one of our earlier What's for Dinner at Dudash Farms. So I will send that to you. Um, so trivia question. What is our trivia question tonight? And if you get, we actually have two. So if you get this right, you get a pound of ground, of Dudash Farms ground beef. All right. So here's my first, uh, our first trivia question. And mom is watching. Hi, Dodie. We so love we're you. we have two questions? Yep, we have two questions. Our first question is this. What is, and I'll wait a few minutes because there's a delay with Facebook Live. So give you a few minutes to think about this. What is the gestation period for a pig? Do you know? That's our first trivia question. So if you know the answer, I want you to put it in the comments. And the first person to answer correctly will get a pound of Dudash Farms ground beef. And we'll work out the details. We'll message each other and work all that out. So if you know the answer, what is the gestation period for a pig? All right. So. Put it in the comments if you know the answer. And if you're watching the replay, just let us know you watched the replay. We'd love to know that. Um, let's see, what we got going on here? Just wanted to make sure I say hi to everyone who's watching. Um, so let me tell you, before we start with our second trivia question, Brian and I have been sleeping in the basement. <laughs> we have. You wanna know why we've been sleeping in the basement? 
we're going through a weaning process with our cows. And uh, mamas and babies are not happy. So they are bawling for each other because we have um, separated them so that we can wean them. And it is pitiful. If you're a mom, you know what I'm talking about. It's pitiful. They just can't stand being apart. So we're having to wean our calves from the mama cows because it's time for our mama cows to start focusing on making sure they have all of their energy uh, focus toward new baby calves that are developing. So if we don't wean them, then you know they're using all of that energy on producing milk and not using all of that energy on um, on new calves. So Brian and I are sleeping in the basement because everybody's crying for everybody, for each other. So. Uh, not that that really means anything to you all, but I just wanted to give you a little insight into farm life, what this is like. Um, so we're having to listen to that. Uh, Leslie Sands says 114 days. Beth Perkheiser says 122 days. Oh, Lord, Brian, you're going to have to figure go this out math. because there's really, yeah, he's going to have to do the math because um, the way I would say it would be a little bit different. It's really cool and it's consistent two squeaks and a snout <laughs> two squeaks and a snout letha merritt you are hilarious you're gonna have to let us know even a private message how all this moving is going so what is it ryan i think it's 114. 114. so leslie sands i think you're our winner of our first trivia question 114 days so this is a guess? Pardon me, 114 days. Okay. So here's the cool thing. So pigs, the gestation period for a pig is three months, three weeks, and three days. And it is consistently that. How cool is that? So the gestation period for a pig, three months, three weeks, three days, which Leslie Sands is correct that that is about 114 days. So Leslie, you win a pound of Dudash Farms ground beef. So message me and we'll make, we'll figure out the details and we'll make sure you get that, okay? All right, so our second trivia question. What is the gestation period for a cow? So if you get this correct, the first person to get it correct will get uh, a pound of Dudash Farms ground beef. So. Put your answer in the comments and we'll see who gets it. Um, all right, going on. And I told you last week we had great success with our trivia question. How many stomachs does a cow have? Or how many compartments of the stomach does a cow have? And Roberta Knight, she uh, got that answer correct. By the way, it's four and um, she won a pound of Dudash Farms ground beef and she came by the market on Saturday and picked that up. So it was good stuff. Um, all right, so tonight we're having meatloaf. We um, recap what we talked about with our meatloaf. We use our ground beef and our ground pork for that. We put a little salt, pepper, and garlic. We put some uh, uh, bell pepper in there. Um, we also put some Italian breadcrumbs. And if you saw the picture on our page of what it looked like before we put it in the oven, it had some beautiful bell peppers on top. So we have baked that in the oven at 350 for an hour. And Brian, is it done? It's done. It is done. So gang, let me show you what this beautiful meatloaf looks like. Hold on a second here. Let me turn this around. So Brian is serving it up. Check that out. Isn't that beautiful? So there's our meatloaf. We have some steamed potatoes and green beans from the garden. Hello, Jack. I see that you're watching Katie Stansberry. Katie Stansberry, you are our winner. Nine months. That's right. That is right. So Katie, you are the proud winner of a pound of ground beef from Dudash Farms. Yay, Katie! And I told Brian said, that one's too easy. But I said, but after we ask about the pigs, everybody's gonna be thrown off and they won't think about nine months. <laughs> so it's about the same as 
a human baby. It is nine months. So yay, Katie Stansberry. You just need to message me and we'll make sure we get you that pound of ground beef. And Leslie Sands says, yummy. Yes, so let's take another look at this. So this is what we're having. We've got our meatloaf made with Doodash Farms uh, ground beef and ground pork and green beans that we grew in our garden and some potatoes. We've steamed those potatoes. So a good, beautiful, healthy meal. All right. So who's gonna be at the market tomorrow? Yeah, so who's gonna come see us at the market tomorrow? Now, I know that we've got all this funky weather. Hold on a second here. All this funky weather because of uh, Miss Hurricane Laura coming through. Um, but we're hearing now that the, um, the forecast isn't quite as scary as it has been sounding. Uh, we, you know, it, it's probably going to rain, but we've learned, we learned a couple of weeks ago that that doesn't stop you guys from coming out to the market. Um, and we really do appreciate that, but we will be there rain or shine. Just put on your ball cap, uh, and your, grab your umbrella and come out and see us. We're going to have 10 vendors there tomorrow. Uh, so everybody's going to be represented. Um, we've got Sandy Ridge Vineyards. We've got uh, Found a Pearl Farm, Hill House, um, Hill House Farm. We've, we're going to have John Mueller, our woodcrafter. We'll have Reclaimed Soul. Um, that's Ashley, and she is a new vendor at our market. She sells uh, some candles and wax melts. And if you will follow her page, again, that's Reclaimed Soul. She has some other um, art type of, uh, of pieces and uh, blankets. So look her up. And of course, Doodash Farms will be there. We have just about everything um, in stock. We're, we have a, we're missing a few things, but not much. So come out. We've got Martin Farms. So come out and see Pete and Shirley and Angie. They've got um, all your produce. Uh, Douglas, House of Douglas will be there. And then, of course, Adam Hopkins, Chicken or the Egg, he will be there also. Um, and Jim and Greta. Oh, and Jim and Greta will be there. They weren't there last week, but they will be here this week. Greta uh, Holbert, she is our soap maker. And then Jim Holbert, he has lots of uh, wonderful produce, uh, no chemicals used in uh, his process. Let's see, Jeannie Miller Fox says, hi, Kim and Brian. Hey, Jeannie, we miss seeing you. Um, let's see, there's something else that I wanted to talk about. You see, you know, I have to make notes. I'm getting a little uh, forgetful in my old age. Was there anything, Brian? I um, think that was it. Let's see. Oh, don't forget that at the market, it's always tax free. You never have to pay tax on any of your purchases. And just so you know, the market goes through October the 17th. So we will be there through the 17th of October. And I thought this was interesting. So last week we did a French dip with one of our roasts. We cooked it all day with some French onion soup and some onions, and then we had made some homemade bread. So I had someone message us and say, hey, we're gonna do the French dip over the weekend, but I don't bake. So I suggested she call Laura Wall at Found a Pearl Farm. So if you're in that same boat, if you're not a baker, and you wanna do something like the French dip that we did last week, call Laura Wall at Found a Pearl Farm or message her, follow her page. She's phenomenal, she'll hook you up, I know she will. And then, what else? We need some, re we need some ideas for recipes. Brian and I, I mean, we're, we have some additional ideas, but um, a lot of them are fallish. So if you have some additional ideas for recipes, please message us at the farm or put something in the comments and let us know so we can reach out to you. We'd love to, uh, to possibly make some of your recipes. Let's see who we got. Marpet says, hey guys, the ribeyes were fantastic tonight. Marpet, we got your pictures. They looked wonderful. I'm so glad they were good. Thank you. Uh, thanks for letting us know. And Jeannie Miller Fox says she's coming to the market in the morning. So Jeannie, we look forward to seeing you. Um, I am like rambling and now my stuff is getting cold. So I need to go so that we can have dinner. And uh, Brian, is there anything you wanna say? Let's eat. 
Let's eat. You guys have a great weekend. We hope to see you tomorrow. And if not, we'll catch up with you another time. We love you guys. We appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.